project settings on the Wire Expert 4500. Um, you need to make sure that you've got these set up prior to doing any testing on a job site. Um, if you don't have the settings correct, um, it could lead to confusion when you bring in the test results, or they could be stored in the wrong location, the wrong folder in your export reporting software. So um, project settings are accessible on the local unit. This is the unit that you'll need to put them in. Um, you can't change the project settings on the remote unit. This is something that's specific to the local. So from the setup screen, hit the setup shortcut key, move down to the third section here. It's listed as project settings. Hit the arrow and you'll see a selection for site, operator, label source, autosave, and then it lists the next label. So site would be the job site that you're working in. Um, the site is more or less a folder for the results to be stored in. I'm going to click on the arrow on site I can either create a new job site by hitting the plus button. I can edit the existing sites by hitting the gear button here. Or I can just choose one that's already in the selection. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. West Town Mall. And hit the check to apply it to the tester. And then I'm going to choose an operator. Right now it's unspecified. I want to choose an operator, which is me, my name is Tom. I'm going to choose an operator so that whoever's looking at the test results knows that I'm the one who performed the tests on that day. And then the next choice is label source. Uh, Wire Expert has five different labeling schemes. Um, some of them are completely manual entry, such as none, all the way down to freeform, list-based testing, template label, and simple cable label. These are more like predictive text or lists that you pull in from the PC ahead of time. Okay, We're going to use simple cable label. It's probably the most commonly used labeling scheme. This is a predictive text type labeling scheme. So I'm going to go into this first field. I'm not going to use this A. I'm going to use something that's probably more common. I'm going to go to uh, rack to port, and I'm just going to stop there. So it's rack to port, and then it's going to start with number one. But let's say that I don't want it to start with number one. Let's say that I want to start that with number five. Okay, So this labeling scheme will be rack to port five. It will automatically sequence to rack to port six, rack to port seven, and I'm not going to have to enter in any additional text for this. So it's very efficient and it's a quick way to go through some labels. The next option is autosave. I have that off at this time. Now you can also have this to on and it will save you another second or so on testing um, but when it's in the off position uh, what happens is that each test that is completed um, the label will be flashed in front of you and you'll have the opportunity to edit it before it goes into the tester so I like that as an option when I'm not too you know I'm not absolutely certain that my labeling scheme that I have laid out in front of me is what I'm going to be doing in that particular sequence so it gives you a little bit more flexibility to have it off. Not as fast, but more flexibility. It even lists the next label that's going to be saved into the tester here at the bottom, Rack 2, Port 5. That's project settings.